my name is Savannah Gallo and I play Kat in the film Left Behind, which was directed by Matt Ford. This shouldn't be happening to me. This project came about, um, it was something that was in the back of my head quite for, for quite a long time in terms of trying to understand um, and trying to pick my way through as a male through all of the, the stories of, of violent and sexual abuse towards women. Um, very much so, the Sarah Everard case, which was, which was a big thing. Um, and I really wanted, the way that I learn is through um, film, through writing, and I really wanted to try and unpick that and 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 see what see what it was about and, and and explore the emotions. And I'm very much interested in the other side, the other story. And by that I mean, you know, if somebody commits a, a heinous crime, a murder, um, an assault, I'm very interested in what the people who have a relationship with that person, parents spouses brothers sisters how they react how they cope and how they feel and so left behind came through um came about sorry through that kind of a discussion internally it was a really like calm like safe sort of environment it's a very delicate subject the film um and it was a really great team like great crew um great obviously cast in terms of like my other my co-star so to speak so it was it was a really good day to collaborate and even though it was quite a delicate well, a very delicate subject there was some nice moments kind of off screen where there was a lot of kind of fun that was had and it was i think it just added to the whole kind of preface of the day that it was just a very like warm safe you know welcoming environment to work in so it was really really good um i think that there's a lot of things that you can take away from it um i think that people don't necessarily understand the gravity of the situations that not just women, but men find themselves in as well. And the complexities around that, it comes out in different ways for different people. How people respond to that is a very unique, personal thing. And I think the complexity with the story itself, but also getting to see the two sides of the characters, the one that kind of is resentful, but then also feels guilty. And like I said, it's this whole plethora of emotions and, I think if you're, I guess, very fortunate enough to have not experienced anything like that, you wouldn't necessarily understand what that would be like for someone in that position. And I think it's very important that it's we really shine a light on those really difficult subjects that aren't actually explored enough. And I think the more that we have amazing films like this and programmes and theatre pieces, it really kind of delves into that unspoken territory and I think the more that we can do that the more that we can raise awareness um, and the more I guess it could actually potentially save some lives as well because people that are going through that situation that may see that may associate themselves with that but also see how detrimental it is you know to them and to people that they may know in that situation so I think it's definitely very important. I think having a Birmingham Film Festival is extremely important, not just for me as a filmmaker, but for the film industry and the film scene on its own, as it stands in Birmingham. I know a handful of Birmingham filmmakers, Birmingham actors, Birmingham you know, directors, etc. But there are so many more that I don't know. And so when you see festivals such as this and you see films being made by X, Y and Z from, from this part of Birmingham and, and they're making these kind of stories, you think, where are these people in my, in my community, in my circle? And it's because I think the connectivity of the Birmingham film industry isn't so good, it isn't so clear. And so there's all these different pockets of creatives that don't often get the chance to connect and share ideas, exchange ideas and work with one another. And I think having a film festival, having a Birmingham film festival is extremely important because it gives those creatives a chance to be in the room with one another. It gives those creatives a chance to see each other's work, be inspired by each other's work, 
And it also gives those creatives a voice and a platform and to see that Birmingham is a valued and creative city. Uh, and we can stand shoulder to shoulder with any other city. And so the festival is massively important in that regard. Yeah, I think that, you know, as we've seen kind of this week and the past week, there's been obviously a lot of kind of coverage on like the British Film Institute and the, the kind of film festival there. And I think it's really important that, you know, there is a lot of kind of a spotlight put on more local and regional festivals because I think that there's a lot of talent that kind of is up and coming or, you know, doesn't necessarily get as much of a spotlight as maybe, you know, the bigger places like London and New York and all the big cities, whereas, you know, it's really important to showcase that there is a lot of talent kind of out in, you know, in the rest of the country and the rest of the world and things like that. And um, having these film festivals, you know, really shows that that's the case as opposed to it just being focused on the big stuff. Okay. Yeah, so this film, in terms of nominations for the film festival, it's my first film that I've had in the Birmingham Film Festival. Um, and I think that would be down really to the strength of the performances by the cast um, and the work done behind the scenes by the crew, more so than from anything that I myself have done. The film is very much the other woman's story, um, but it's framed within the context of quite horrific... Uh, quite horrific abuse and and Kat who's played by Savannah Gallo who was nominated for best female actress in the festival her character is really trying to explore why she wasn't good enough so why she wasn't good enough to be treated better why she wasn't good enough um to be to be even spared being left behind with all this torment and all this abuse so it's quite a deep quite a deep film with quite sensitive emotions and I think she handled that really well and I think the whole cast and the crew um, really handled that well and I think that that shows in the, in the film and the way the performances are so nomination wise it's done really well and I'm really pleased for everybody who's involved in it it would be amazing to be honest because I can't lie I didn't even expect to be where I am now in terms of having the nomination and it's it's an honor and I think knowing that like that's come from me and my hometown and and it's it's just yeah it's a very special thing um that yeah i could hope that i can then continue to build on and, and things like that so left behind has been shown at the birmingham film festival sunday the 6th of november at 4 p.m Guys, if you can, I'd really appreciate your support in coming down to see that, not for me personally, but for all of the hard work that the cast and all the crew have put in and to support the Birmingham Film Festival.